Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to discover when we would want to create smart previews in Lightroom Classic. Now, I've imported some photos from an external drive, and we can see the header for that drive as well as the folder that I imported and the photographs. Now, as long as that external drive is connected, we can edit these photos using Quick Develop and the Develop module. But let's find out what happens if I eject this external drive. As soon as I eject the drive and we return to Lightroom Classic, that drive is grayed out because it's no longer attached or online. We see a question mark next to the folder and explanation marks next to the photos telling me that those photos are missing. So although I still can go in and change the star rating or add a keyword, I can't make changes in Quick Develop nor in the Develop module. Now, in order to create smart previews, the files have to be online. So I'll plug back in the drive and we can see that it's online again. Now, there are several ways to create smart previews in Lightroom Classic. I could have created them on import. Here in the file handling panel, I can check the option to build smart previews. But if the photographs have already been imported, then we can select the images that we want to create smart previews for and choose library, previews, build smart previews. Once the smart previews are created, we can select a photo and in the histogram, it will show you the status. So here we have an original plus smart preview because the original file is online and we just created a smart preview for it. If I select this image, then the status is original because it wasn't selected when I created the smart previews, but the original is online. Now that we've created those smart previews, let's take this drive offline again. We see that the header is gray now for the drive and the warnings are back next to the folder. But instead of the exclamation mark, we get a little icon here for a smart preview. Now let's look at the status. If we select any of the top row, we'll see smart preview because we created a smart preview for this image, but the original's offline. And if I select a photo that we didn't build smart previews for, it'll say that the photo is missing. I can't use Quick Develop or the Develop module to make changes to the missing files, but I can select a photo that has a smart preview and make changes. I'll select the crop tool and then just straighten the horizon and I'll return to edit and just convert the photo to black and white. All right, let's return to grid view by tapping the G key. And when I plug in the external drive again, there's nothing that we have to do. When you make changes to a photo that's offline and has a smart preview, when the originals become available, when they're back online, any changes that were made to the smart preview is automatically applied to the original. Okay, a few quick tips before we wrap up. Let's take this drive offline again. I'm going to select this image and move over to the develop module and zoom into one to one. The smart preview is a smaller version of the original. The smart preview only has 2,540 pixels on the long edge and it's saved in the DNG format. Now there are several reasons for this. The most obvious is to reduce the amount of space that the smart previews take on the hard drive. However, I think you'll find that some edits like texture or clarity may look different when applied to the smart preview. So when you're making these detailed edits, you may need to refine the slider values when your full resolution original photos are back online. Also, if you're working with smart previews and you need to export the photo or want to use them in one of the output modules, like the book or the slideshow module, again, keep in mind that that smart preview is not the full high resolution file. The best rule of thumb would be for the highest quality, you'll most likely want your originals when you're outputting your files. In fact, if I move to the slideshow module and try to export this as a high quality PDF, Lightroom Classic will actually omit the smart preview files from the slideshow. Okay, so where are these smart previews saved? I'm gonna choose the catalog settings. It would be under the edit menu on Windows and in the general tab, I'll choose to show the location of the catalog. So the smart previews are stored in this smart previews.lr data file. And if you want to save space, when you no longer need the smart previews, you can choose library, 
Previews, and then discard Smart Previews. And finally, when you sync photos from Lightroom Classic to the cloud, Lightroom Classic will automatically create Smart Previews for you. Syncing will be covered in depth in a later video. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.